Want your boss to put some real action behind the rhetoric when they talk about making your workplace more inclusive? Find out how to hold their feet to the fire and demand diversity on the Diversity Dude podcast. Hello there, and welcome back to the Diversity Dude podcast. I'm your host, Lambert Fisher, marriage and family therapist and award-winning author, national speaker on the topic of multicultural awareness and diversity. Before we get started, I think it'd be good to mention that Minneapolis holds a special place in the entrepreneur and designer Houston White's heart is where you got to start. So whether it's launching the Get Down Coffee Company or his new Houston White for Target collection, Houston takes immense pride in giving back and inspiring those around him. Watch Houston discuss turning passions into reality and the importance of lifting up the community on Target's exciting new content series, Black Beyond, now playing on YouTube.com slash Target. Regarding the Diversity to Do podcast specifically, for those of you interested in even more positive and encouraging tips and strategies beyond what I share in podcasts like this, then feel free to check out my award-winning book, Diversity in Clinical Practice, nationally recognized for the unique way in which it addresses the often difficult topic of multicultural awareness and diversity, also available in audiobook for your listening convenience. And I hope that no matter what your role or your position, if you're a helping professional in any way, that you consider ordering diversity and clinical practice to help you learn practical and encouraging strategies for meeting the greatest variety of cultural needs for those whom you serve. And similarly, whether it be through one of my one-on-one relationship building efforts as a therapist or my informing and empowering efforts as an author or speaker, my personal mission is to do my part to improve the world one strengthened relationship at a time. So today I wanna talk to you about common barriers to pursuing mental health care in diverse communities. Uh, on my most recent Diversity Do podcast, I explored some common barriers to mental health care for individuals in diverse communities, specifically as it relates to acknowledging experiences of limited access to mental health care, cultural trust concerns, as well as cultural differences between therapists and the individuals and families who may serve. Uh, today, I want to spend a few more moments uh, specifically addressing the trust barrier to seeking mental health support as it seems to be one of the most common barriers that prevent the initiation the initiation of uh, mental health care. Uh, when I see and hear this barrier in my professional and personal lives, it sounds something like this. Uh, Lambers, uh, I hear people talking about how therapy has helped them and how uh, everyone can benefit from counseling, but I just feel like therapy is not for people like us in, in my community. That That's for people who look a certain way and have a certain kind of money and live a certain kind of lifestyle. People in my community just don't do that. Now, in response to this, uh, this not only uncommon, not only common uh, for individuals, but families of color type of expression, but also for those from various different cultural backgrounds not related to race or ethnicity. For example, uh, people from various faith beliefs often express that we don't go to therapy or or for support or guidance. We go to one of our faith leaders for that. So it's not just a race or ethnicity thing, which brings me to my first consideration. And that is that mental health doesn't have to be a contradiction to cultural beliefs and practices. The goal of mental health care is not to teach a certain way of living that has to contradict a different way. Rather, it's to help you live your best life uh, by identifying personal and familial barriers, uh, uh, strengths and commu- uh, strengths and growth areas in your community and beyond, helping you maximize your strengths and reduce the impact of any growth areas, as well as identifying internal and external barriers that may need to be overcome uh, through individuals uh, or familial support, as well as through mental health support. Sure, there are other opportunities to get that kind of support, such as family and friends, a, a trusted mentor or community leader, or even a life coach who is great at providing genuine organizational uh, strategies, motivation, and encouragement. Even as I'm a fan of all these resources, I also acknowledge that some barriers are beyond organizational strategies and motivation. Different things have different, different needs have different solutions. Some stem from past hurts and traumas, uh, personal or relational misunderstandings that seem insurmountable despite your best efforts, and even physiological factors that impact our thoughts and feelings, whether we acknowledge them or understand them or not. Because it is, sometimes consulting a mental health professional alongside of any of these other legitimate resources can help you learn more about yourself and help you achieve your best life possible. In addition, In addition to acknowledging that mental health care can come alongside other culturally supported preferences, 
It's also good to acknowledge that many people avoid mental health care because it's viewed by others in their community as a sign of weakness. As a matter of fact, some cultural groups even pride themselves on their resilience, legitimately, by the way, based on the resiliency that was necessary for their ancestors to survive past horrific experiences and allowing their descendants to even live and thrive today. So much so that seeking help through mental health care is considered countercultural, as if going against what makes their culture unique. To this, I empathetically say to whomever might be feeling this or worried about this perception among your family and friends, your culture is more than just your resilience in response to past negative events. Every culture has unique historical and present values, ways of living, speaking, and embracing life today that need to be valued and understood throughout. Mental health care isn't about taking resilience away, but acknowledging that even the most resilient person needs help sometimes. Even the strongest person gets tired sometimes. Life is hard. And sometimes, despite all of our resilience, there are stressors and difficulties that seem and feel beyond our control. And instead of believing that asking for help makes us weak, we can seek help to maintain our strength and even helping us to healthily express our cultural uniqueness in ways that show its value to those in our community and beyond. And finally, I wanted to acknowledge a third common expression related to caution surrounding seeking mental health care, and that is the cultural influence belief that people from our community don't put our business out there in the streets. The message here being that we keep things within our culture or community rather than sharing vulnerabilities and struggles with outsiders. And this is beyond the idea that mental health is about confidentiality. It's about that understanding of anything outside is uncomfortable and at risk. Now, I have to admit, I have to be honest, that there is merit to this logic. After all, historically, there have been many experiences where people have misunderstood or misused knowledge gained about another culture and used that information to cause harm even whether it's intentional or unintentional. And since only a small percentage of mental health professionals come from ethnically diverse communities, supporting the effort to find therapists who look like them, it is reasonable to be cautious regarding sharing one's vulnerabilities and thoughts and feelings with someone outside their cultural group experience. That being said, one, there are many mental health professionals, whether they look like you or not, making intentional efforts to expand their cultural understanding and awareness beyond their own cultural limitations. And hopefully, if you seek mental health care, you can find one of those many individuals try to do so. But also, if the stressors that you are struggling with include your close family and friends or individuals in your community, then you may not feel comfortable vulnerably wrestling with your feelings and thoughts with them directly. Instead, it may be better to seek the support of a neutral individual who doesn't have a personal interest in the outcome to help you identify your genuine thoughts and feelings and help you learn the healthiest way to go back to your family and friends and communicate healthily, not as a crutch or a solution, but as beneficial support as you find the solutions that matter to you in your environment. In the end, what I hope is that you would take from this uh, a, a legitimate reason why people from various di diverse cultural backgrounds would be cautious regarding seeking support from mental health professionals. But also, however, sometimes there's an understanding that the size of the need for support or whether or not you have sufficient, sufficient support close by may warrant the risk. And it is my hope that the benefits you discover through the counseling process will show that it was worth the risk, that you were pleasantly surprised, that there was more understanding than misunderstanding and growth occurred on both accounts and that it will benefit you, ultimately benefit your family through your interactions. And it will benefit everyone else who has the benefit of interacting with you from helping you live your best life now and moving forward. And with that... I'll say thanks again for listening to the Diversity Do podcast. If you have any pressing diversity related concerns or questions that you'd like me to address on an upcoming podcast, or if your organization is in need of a shame free and empowering guest speaker or training on a sensitive topic of multicultural awareness and diversity, then feel free to reach out to me directly at www.lambertsfisher.com. And if you know anyone who can benefit from a positive and encouraging perspective on the often difficult topic of multicultural awareness and diversity, then feel free to send them a link to this podcast or to my book, Diversity in Clinical Practice, available in paper and audiobook formats on Amazon.com. And I look forward to addressing as many topics as possible in future podcasts to help you improve as many relationships as possible at work, at home, and in your community. As always, remember this, you don't need to know everything about everyone. 
in order to have a positive impact on someone. Thank you all for tuning in and have a great day. Get fast, reliable internet for any budget. Now qualifying customers can get Xfinity internet free through the Affordable Connectivity Program. That's right, free high-speed internet from Xfinity. And Internet Essentials customers can get equipment included at no extra cost. Get started today. At Hy-Vee, we take pride of being part of the communities we serve. In 2021, we donated more than 14 million meals, and this year, we're committed to doing even more. For over 90 years, we've been the place that people turn in time of need, and we take that very seriously. That's why we're loading our semis full of food this week and making deliveries across the Midwest to help families this Easter. To join our effort, simply donate when you're at the checkout. Together, we can make a big difference for those in need. Looking for a meaningful career with great pay and great benefits? Want to be part of something bigger? Here's your chance. Union Pacific Railroad is hiring train crew members of the Twin Cities area, now offering hiring incentives up to $15,000. No previous railroad experience is needed. We provide all the essential training and you can get a free college education while working. Get your career on the right track with Union Pacific and apply today at up.job slash Minnesota. That's up.job slash Minnesota. There's a new way to get around in North Minneapolis. It's Metro Transit Micro, a new ride sharing service that connects you with Metro Transit bus routes or wherever you need to go on the north side. It's convenient, affordable, and accessible. Metro Transit Micro uses minibuses to reach more neighborhoods, and you'll have shorter wait times. It costs just the same as bus routes, and it's easy to use. You can pay your fare in cash, a go-to card, or the Metro Transit app. Just go to metrotransit.org slash micro. Download the app and create your account. It's really simple. So whether you're going to a friend's house in Bryn Mawr to watch the Vikings game, or you need to get dropped off at the Metro C-Line station to hop on a bus to get to work across town. Metro Transit Micro got you covered. Book a ride, get picked up, and get where you need to go. Start riding today on one of the new Metro Transit Micro minibuses. It's back to school time, and that means it's back to cooking breakfast for your kiddos and making school lunches. That's a lot of cracked eggshells and cut off sandwich crusts. Now listen, before you think about throwing those food scraps away, think about recycling them. Ramsey County has a program that can help you do just that and it won't cost you a dime. Ramsey County has a free food scraps recycling program that lets you collect stuff like apple cores, coffee grounds, and veggie scraps. Here's how it works. Put all those scraps into a compostable bag. Then once a week, drop it off at a free food scrap site by your house. And listen, I understand that life is busy, so if you can't get there once a week, just toss the bag in the freezer until you can find the time to do it. To locate a food scrap collection site near you and to get more information about the program, visit RamseyRecycles.com slash food scraps and tell your friends and family about it. Let's all do our part to help save the planet. All right, all right did you know I was the Mommy Slam Dunk Champion? Really? <laughs> yes, really don't sound so surprised. Let's see it. Oh, you're ready. All right, here we go. Let's hear the crowd. So go to right, go to left, fake them up. Mama, go up, mama! She did it. Again? You can't avoid gravity, but United Healthcare can help you avoid financial surprises by helping you compare costs and doctor quality ratings. United Healthcare. Uh huh.